<laughs> Welcome to Fantastic Fiber Friday, the day after Valentine's Day, February 15th. Speaking of Valentine's Day, I got to show this off because I have like the most amazing husband ever. And look at these flowers. These are amazing. I came home because yesterday we didn't get to spend the day together. I went dress shopping for my daughter and because she has a dance this weekend and this is what I came home to. It is absolutely gorgeous. I was not expecting flowers like this. <laughs> gorgeous. And also, of course, the Whitman sampler, <laughs> which we both dug into. <laughs> you dug into it. You dug into it, too. I watched I you. I had four pieces. You had, like, ten. <laughs> well, it's my candy, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> okay. So, happy Valentine's Day belated to everybody. And as you can see, my yarn has gone back here, and that's because it's been selling. There's still a few left, and there's still a few of the matching fiber colorways left. So, grab those while you can, while well, they're still available. See, he just took the candy again. I'm getting the caramels, the ones you can't eat. <laughs> All right, moving on to yarn and knitting. I've been working on my socks and I do have one where I've gotten the heel done and I'm getting ready to start the fair aisle on the cuff. I'm going to do a couple more rows and start the fair aisle but I do actually have one completely finished to show you. I haven't blocked it or weed the ends in yet or anything like that but I thought it turned out pretty good. It's got a lovely flower motif on it. I modified the Fair Isle pattern a little bit above it. It had kind of like a, a long checkerboard, like every fourth stitch was a color stitch, but I like it just like this. I liked it better without it, so I just left it out and just did this part of the pattern. And I think they turned out pretty good. These would be nice for spring. And I'll be finishing up the other one this week. So, Fair Isle socks, pretty much done. In fiber, I've actually been harvesting Angora off the rabbits. And these will be going up in the shop soon. I actually have a whole bunch. I got two, actually, two containers of this lovely blue Angora from my Bunny Blue. He produced quite a lot of fiber this winter. And I will be adding some chocolate angora for my chocolate bunny cocoa. Ooh, we're floating. And that just turned out rather lovely. I have two containers of this too. I haven't weighed it out yet to get it up in the shop, but, but it's, it's plucked prime and whoever gets their fingers on it will definitely love it. Now, I have mentioned earlier that I was dress shopping with my daughter yesterday, and I have to give the shop a shout out because they were so wonderful. We went down to Vintage Finery in Orrington, Maine. For anybody who's around my area who watches, Linda is absolutely amazing down there. She does costumes, weddings, proms, dances, whatever you can think of. If you have a, if you have a party that's a theme party, you definitely want to check them out. And she not only sells the stuff, she also does rentals. And she is totally amazing fitting different body types. It was amazing to watch her work yesterday. She loves having people in there and taking pictures of them in the dresses and such. It was really, really cool. So if you are around the Bangor area and you're looking for something of that nature, definitely check out Vintage Finery. They also have a Facebook page called Vintage Finery. And she was just totally cool. I just absolutely loved spending time with her yesterday. And I wanted to thank her for taking, for spending time with us yesterday because I really appreciated it. Because sometimes it can be a little bit difficult with a 15-year-old teenager. I think I'm going to sit here and smell my flowers. And that is all we have for today. I hope you have a great weekend, and I will see you next week. Oh, wow, no kitties jumping up. No phones ringing, no pages going off. That was amazing. <laughs>